All right, how do you cook chop? Well, take your chop and uh, pepper it and you salt it. it. Do you grease it? Uh, no, no, we don't uh, grease it. Pepper it and salt it and then put a little flour on a plate and dip the chop inside uh, on the flour and get your roasting tin and place it inside the tin and then open the arger and put it in the top roasting oven, uh, the bottom shelf of the top roasting oven and leave it for about half an hour and then look to see if it's brown and if it's browned take a, a casserole one well, of the brown it's brown when it's not cooked oh no it browns after about uh, half don't an hour you test it with a fork. no no you don't you need to do that as long as it's uh, browning for how long for half an hour about half an hour look, uh, have a look at it yeah. and then take one of the oval brown casseroles and yeah. uh, Lift your chop, take a fork to lift it with, and put it into the uh, uh, casserole. Yeah. And then take some um, vegetables, uh, onion, and fry yeah. them in a in the meat uh, pan. The, do the, you use grease? Meat. When you fry the onion, how do you do it? Yes, put a little uh, cooking fat about the size of a walnut. Yeah. And then uh, cut up your onion small into them. slices. Just slices. And fry them on the um, hot plate yeah. till they're partly brown and then move over to the simmering plate mm. just gently. And then you can put in a couple of carrots, scrape yeah. them first, of course, and wash them. And Cut them into uh, so quarters, them in the put them into the same pan, and uh, you can cover them with a lid, put a little pepper and salt on just for flavouring, and uh, leave them for about 10 minutes, and then you take them off the arg and add them to the uh, meat that's yeah. in the casserole. You can leave the meat in the casserole and the vegetables for another half hour. And if you want to be out a long time, just put the um, casserole into the bottom yeah. oven and forget the, about the them. The chop sometimes the looks nice and brown, and it isn't well You mean done. it isn't well cooked? Yes. Oh, well, try it with a fork, and if yeah, it's... Yeah, well, that's what I said before, but you don't think so. You say you can just do it Oh, but then that doesn't matter at that point, because you're going to you put it... You let it stew. You can let it do gently in the bottom oven. No, you cover um, it with uh, the... Uh, vegetables. Vegetables, and with onions. Well, uh, the juice comes from the vegetables, yes. and a little you tomato any, added is nice. When you have anything in the bowl. No, you can unless you want it no to be. No fat. No, I mean you don't have any fat in the bowl with the thing when it's just in the bottom of and just sitting there waiting to be. Uh, well, the juices ready. from the meat come out, and yeah. uh, that makes a sort of gravy. It can be just left there. Yes, you leave it then. You can add a, a tomato if you have one because that makes it uh, more tasty. Oh yes. And leave it for a long time. Uh, it tastes better if it does gently. Well, can I just see that? Yes, you pour all that. In, yes, you pour the whole lot into yeah. the. Um, yeah, it's recording. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, there's no tongue. Um, oh. It's steak. How do you do it? Uh, well, there's a well, round. What does he supply it as? Well, it should be ready for frying. Does he supply it? Just. just uh... Yes, I'll ask for frying steak, and what I do is put the uh, that round board. Yeah. It's like a breadboard, and I take yeah. the meat rolling pin and. Uh, <laughs> Can you give me a hand with this, please? Just for fun. <laughs> yes, in a minute, Dennis. And I just give it a, a few smacks well, with the rolling pin. You need pin. to hit it. I think it makes it more tender if you do. Yeah. And then you pepper and salt that. Flavour so it in the same you way. Hit it. You hit it. Yes, and do it in the same way. Put it in the uh, frying tin, the roasting tin that uh, I told you about. Yeah. And leave that till it browns. You put it in the roasting tin. You put some fat in with it. No, you don't no need fat. to. No you just fat. Just put it in the roasting tin. Yes. And the same. You do the same with the put chop. Put it in the. No, do you have any fat with the no, chop? No, no. And you put it in the bottom rung of the uh, top, top of oven. Oven. You yes. leave it. Leave it for about a half an hour first, yes. and do the same thing. Do your vegetables so, like you did before, yes. and then add it yes. uh, to the vegetables. Yeah, put stew. it into the uh, casserole. Mm -hmm. Put it in the top oven again for another half hour yeah. and then put it in the bottom uh, oven and forget about it till you want it. Yeah, it, sure. uh, take, it should be done by dinner time. And if you do your potatoes, yeah. 
Yes. You can uh, and boil them. You can put them in with the meat and let it all do gently together. Mm. What about uh, the potatoes? And to boil the potatoes. Boil the potatoes. Let's see. The right. How do you boil the potatoes? Uh, um, I suppose you'd be using new potatoes, but it doesn't really matter. New or old potatoes. Put them clean into the pan. Don't yeah. use your largest pan because well, how do you just clean the new potatoes. Oh, do them on the. Um, Can you put them in the peel? On the chef, reckon? put them in the chef, yeah. and uh, it should clean them in a few minutes, and then yeah. wash them again under the tap in the meat pantry, yeah. and put them in the pan, nearly covered with water, yeah. and uh, sprinkle with salt. Put the lid on and put them on how the. How much salt do you put in? Oh, about it just depends how many potatoes. I should say about uh, half a dessert spoon. Just take some in your hands, a little sprinkle yes. over. Because I mean, you don't you like a lot of no, salt. All right, so you, you put... Wait a minute. Nearly you cover you the potatoes. Pota you, put pota you nearly cover the potatoes with, with water. cold water. And you boil it on the boiling plate. I put the lid on the pan yeah. and do and boil it on the hot plate the for hot ten, plate. Minutes, 10 minutes and then <clears> strain <throat> off the water in the meat pantry yes. and then put it in the bottom oven and leave it for about half an hour. As a matter of fact, you'll find all that in the Arga cookery book. Oh, good, yeah. Anything about vegetables, if you're stuck, vegetable. get out the Arga cookery book and that'll tell you. Come and on, it tells on. you about how to do uh, fruit as well. Uh, mm. Anything That's else? Right, when you want to roast, the, you, to roast potatoes, you can't start with raw potatoes, can you? Well, it's you better to, to boil them, partly please. cook them, partly boil them, as because... You, as you've just done with the boiled potatoes. Yes. Only you need to keep it... How long do you keep them in the bottom oven, the boiled potatoes? Oh, anyway? leave them about half an hour. Half an hour, and then you can eat them. And then they should be ready. Just keep the lid them. on, of course. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, well, it cooks um, better with mm. the lid on. Well, what about sausages? Boiled sausages, these oh, are. Boiled sausage, I think it gives, us, it gives the direction on the packet. But it asks you to let the water come to the boil, then in. Uh, drop in your sausages and you let, put them on the simmering plate and let them uh, simmer for three minutes. Yeah. And then you just uh, pour you put the any water salt and use anything? them. No, you don't have to <clears> add <throat> any salt yeah. or anything else. Minutes. It's very simple. Only three minutes? Yes. Oh, it's all right. Salmon patties. Uh, to make salmon patties, well, yeah. you have to boil your potatoes first, mm -hmm. and then you put them in the bottom oven like we did uh, before, till they're soft, and then you can take uh, a. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes. You start again then. Boil your potatoes first on the top. Yeah. Oh, you make first. You make boiled potatoes, then you mash up the boiled potatoes. Yes, when they're yeah. quite soft. Yeah. And uh, add uh, some pepper and salt to it. Yeah. And a nice knob of butter, uh -huh. and uh, heat up a little milk. What's a knob of butter? Well, about the size of a walnut or two walnuts. <laughs> what size of walnut? Oh, that big. Yeah. <laughs> that big. <laughs> yes, a chunk of uh, butter or marge. Butter so tastes better, you know, the best butter. Yeah. And then heat up some mi uh, milk in the pan, mm. and add that to it, and. Uh, whip it up you with your it, fork yeah, what about the salmon? and then you um, open your tin of salmon and add the same amount of potato to uh, as salmon, mix it up Equal amounts of potato and, and add salmon. a small egg, mm -hmm. add an egg and that uh, binds it and then make it into um, oh, rolls really? and then flatten your roll and well, then how do you, cook it? Uh, you heat up your oil or your trex yeah. till it's smoking, yeah. then drop in your um, uh, patties and yeah. then turn over and put them on the uh, cake rack and that's that. How long do you cook them? Oh, it doesn't take long, oil. just until they're brown. Don't yeah. let them over brown, they won't yeah. taste so nice. How can you tell when they're brown? Oh, they have a lovely golden colour. You hear them, you hope. Dip them in uh, flour, a uh, little flour first. No, you don't boil Because it'll be very sticky yeah. otherwise. You've done the boiling potatoes for mashing. Mm -hmm. Do you add anything to the mashed potatoes to make them taste nicer? Just the butter and the milk. Just butter and milk, right. Yes. Um, oh, you could go to the bottom of the garden and get some parsley and snip oh, it in. It's very small. Gives it a nice finish. Oh, what about doing a dead hen? 
Or for the hen? Well, if you're having a large hen... No, I'm not getting a little one. Well, you find a suitably sized pan, the way it can fit. Yeah. And let the water come about halfway up the mm. uh, chicken and add a smallish onion and a couple of carrots. Eight, yeah. And uh, I, I usually add some parsley as well, a small uh, mm. handful of uh, parsley and some salt, about a dessert spoonful of salt. Don't lay on too much salt because you can always add... Is this one in control, to be sure? You can always add more salt yeah. uh, after when the uh, chicken's cooked. Mm -hmm. Then put it on the hot plate, yeah. bring it to the boil, and then you can slip it in the top oven for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then after that, put it in, the, it? in the bottom yeah. oven. Yeah. After you put it in the bottom oven. Yes, leave it until it's soft. That's usually about dinner time when until I do it. Until it's soft to a fork? Yes, you put the fork in the leg. or uh, Yes, because the leg is usually the toughest part. Yeah. And if it goes in easily, it's done. Mm. And then you're all mm. ready. Why don't you have to snip it up then? And then wait, it's easier to cut when it's cold. And the best way is to take the leg portions and uh, cut those first. And when you've dissected those, you, you can try the other portions. Yeah. How do you make Yorkshire pudding? Well, four ounces of self-raising No, Yorkshire flour. pudding. In no, that's right, no. <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> pudding. <laughs> four ounces of self-raising flour, a pinch of salt, two eggs, and uh, half a pint of water. Are the ingredients? Half a yes, those are the ingredients. And a half a pint is a tumbler of cold water. Now, where do you put them? Now, here's the basin. Yep. Here's the uh, sieve. No yes, you want no, to... No. Well, anyhow, you, you pass the um, flour through the sieve into yes, the basin. Yes, the Yes, and put in the pinch of salt as well. Yes. And then make a little well in the middle of the flour. Drop in two a eggs. I like two eggs. You can do it with yeah. one, but it comes out nice if it's two. How much flour do you have? Uh, four ounces. Oh, yeah. And then you beat up the eggs and the flour together with a little of the water. Mm -hmm. And beat that up with this beater. Yes. With, that, with this that. beater thing. With. Yes, and you keep on beating till you see the bubbles coming yes, into the yes, uh, yes. batter. And then you uh, gradually add the rest of the water until you've used it all up. Beat it up and, and leave it in the fridge for at least an hour. In a very cold part. Or you can leave it... Uh, Whereabouts in the fridge? Oh, any part of the fridge is all right. Well, there's a lot of places in the yes, fridge. Well, in the freezer? I, oh, no, not in the freezer. Well, just in the meat part. Uh, any the part of the... Yes, so in the meat part. Cool yes, and then uh, allow yourself a good half hour for the cooking of it. Supposing you're well, going to have you your dinner... Now, what do you do to yeah. you pour Supposing it you're going to have your dinner at one o'clock. Yeah. Then, at uh, 25 past 12, put in your uh, roasting tin with about a tablespoon of cooking fat. Yes. Let it melt till it's very hot. Put it in at the top, slide it in at the top part of the arger mm. until it's uh, smoking. Yeah. And then take your batter, whip it up a little with your uh, beater here. Must be the best And batter. then, yeah. always the best batter. Thank you. Then pour it in quickly, taking care not to burn yourself on the uh, roasting tin, yeah. and slide it into the very uh, hottest part of the oven, which is at the very top, yeah, the nearest back, the yes. top at the back, and leave it for about 20 minutes, and then take it out and turn it round so that each side gets equally uh, browned. Mm. And, and it rises by itself. It rises by itself. Of it. uh, course, yeah. you must have the oven hot, <laughs> otherwise the uh, Yorkshire pud will be a complete failure. Yeah. And then the end of the half hour, when it's nice and brown, out it comes and uh, enjoy well, yourself. What about that? Do you know whether it's dead inside properly? Oh, what well, uh, it, you can tell it's a nice golden brown. What about that? But you want some gravy as well. What will you do? You'll have to make some gravy, Jeffrey. What about the luxury pudding? Oh, well, well it's you, it's you don't want to do a roast, do you? How to do the gravy? You, did this, you can't use the oxen. No, no, yes, no, you no. could use a bisto or a bit of that. Have you got any? It's not Some country. bisto there. It is, it's only vegetables. So how do you make gravy then? Uh, well, if you want to make gravy, you'll have a little Follow fat. 
Yes, uh, you'll find it in a, any cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put a little it? in the about a tablespoon of full what? of fat. Of fat. Uh, you could use cooking fat if the yes, work yeah, yeah, yeah. or chicken schmaltz so into the frying pan, pan. and pan. a little about a tablespoon of flour, yeah. and let that cook gently. A pinch of salt, and uh, mix it around with a wooden spoon, and then take um, some of your soup. Would, yeah. It could be added to it a uh, little at a time. Water, if yeah, not, bisto. water and uh, some bisto. Mix it all up. Well, let it cook. Bisto, oh, <laughs> just enough to brown it yeah. <laughs> and keep on until it's nice and smooth. If you get lumps in, yeah. Philip Harmon <laughs> wouldn't give you very many <laughs> points for that. How do you boil an egg? Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? I don't know how to make lotion pudding.